SCP-857 is a section of the Amazon rainforest measuring one square kilometer. Plants native to the region grow normally in this area, but animal life appeared to instinctively avoid it. SCP-857 is populated entirely by what appears to be human organs and body parts capable of ambulation and basic thought. The source of these specimens are currently unknown, and they will hereafter be referred to as SCP-857-1. Specimens of 857-1 are non-hostile towards humans and vary wildly in form and function. See Specimen Log 857. These mobile body parts appear to have been crudely altered to allow for movement and consumption of food. For example, most specimens do not possess an actual working mouth, but a large artificial orifice in the flesh that superficially resembles a mouth. The method by which specimens of SCP-857-1 digest food is currently unknown. Although SCP-857-1 are naturally incapable of reproduction, no decrease in the number of observed specimens have been noted. Exploration is currently underway in an effort to discover the source of SCP-857-1. Specimen Log 857 SCP-857-1 A Each specimen of 1 A is composed pr primarily from a human head. Unnatural bone growths have given 1 A two rudimentary arms and six legs. 1 A moves in a manner similar to that of a crab. 1 A specimens are scavengers and have been observed consuming carrion left by predators. SCP 857 1 B Each specimen of 1 B is composed of one human vein. 1 B specimens move in a manner similar to that of worms. 1 B specimens are herbivores and have been observed eating plants fallen onto the forest floor. SCP-857-1-C Each specimen of 1-C is composed of human brain tissue. 1-C specimens move similarly to slugs and leave a slimy trail behind them. 1-C instances have been observed to consume SCP-857-1-B specimens. SCP-857-1-D Each specimen of 1-D is composed primarily of a lower intestine. 1-D specimens are aquatic and reside in the river that runs through SCP-857. 1D specimens have been observed to consume underwater plants. SCP-857-1E Each specimen of 1E e is composed of a human spine. 1E e moves in the manner of a centipede using a regular bone growth. 1E e specimens are predators and have been observed hunting and consuming specimens of 857-1A. SCP-857-1-F Each specimen of 1-F is composed from a human heart. 1-F is immobile. 1-F is parasitic and has been observed to latch onto specimens of SCP-857-1-C, sucking their blood in the manner of a leech. SCP-857-1-G Each specimen of 1-G is composed primarily from a patch of human skin with two unnatural bone growths enforcing a general shape. Specimens move by gliding from tree to tree. 1G are predators and will hunt SCP-857-1C and 1A in large swarms. SCP-857-1H Each specimen of 1H is composed primarily from a human ribcage. Specimens move in a manner similar to spiders and reside in the treetops. Specimens of 1H are predatory, often leaping on and consuming passing SCP-857-1C. SCP-857-1I Each specimen of 1I is composed primarily from a human head. 1I are identical to SCP-857-1A with the exception of a more pronounced arms and the presence of opposable thumbs. 1I specimens are fairly intelligent and reside in simple, tribal structures.